I've had a few requests to cover Kunigami from Blue Lock, so I'm going to be analyzing his physique in this video, telling you the best exercises to develop the muscles for this physique, and at the end I'll give you a program that you can follow to start working your way towards a physique similar to Kunigami from Blue Lock. Starting off with a picture from the front, we can see he's got really big shoulders, his upper arms look thick, his forearms look good, his chest really doesn't stand out that much, it's quite flat, and his abs aren't sticking out like bricks like some people's do, but he definitely has a lean torso, you can see. But from the front at least, I think his arms are more important than the front of his torso, like his chest and abs. And this is a really great shot. We can see his back, which is looking really shredded, very lean. And his triceps look really amazing in this picture. And his shoulders are looking really good as well. So we're also going to want to do back and especially upper back. And here's another shot of his back. This one is even more crazy than the last one. You can see his lower traps are bulging, his shoulders and his arms look shredded, his lats as well. Upper back, arms, shoulders are so far the most important parts of this physique. And in this last picture, we get a glimpse of his legs, which are pretty massive. You can see they have amazing vascularity as well, because he has incredible conditioning, he's very lean, definitely going to have good circulation and cardio. So the most important muscles are going to be his shoulders, the upper back, his arms, especially the triceps, uh, big legs and we want to be nice and lean so we can reveal all those muscles and the vascularity. Now I'll get into some of the best exercises you can do to develop these muscles in particular and then a couple that we can do for the less important muscles as well because we don't want to neglect any part of the body. So for the shoulders, overhead press is going to be the best overall shoulder builder. For the side delts you have lateral raises and upright rows. And for the rear delts you can do bent over lateral raises and face pulls. Moving on to the back, most importantly, it's going to be all kinds of rows, which are going to target the back thickness, the upper back, and also the lats as well. You can do barbell rows, dumbbell rows, cable rows if you prefer. And then to target the traps, we're going to do dumbbell shrugs, or you can do barbell shrugs. And reverse flies are also great for the upper back too. And for the lats, any kind of pull-up or chin-up, vertical pull variation. For the triceps then, the best big heavy tricep movement is going to be a close grip bench press and a similar movement with a lighter load is going to be a close grip push up. And then to directly target elbow extension you can do triceps push downs and overhead triceps extensions. And then for the legs, the three main big leg exercises you can do are just the squat, some kind of deadlift and a lunge. I really like lunges because they hit your quads, hamstrings and your glutes all at the same time. And then for the slightly less important muscle groups like the biceps, you could do barbell curls, dumbbell curls, cable curls, and then for the chest, which isn't so important for this physique, you can do bench press, push-ups and dips. And I've written a four-day program targeting the most important muscles for this physique. We start each day with the legs because they're the most taxing on the nervous system and you want to be fresh when you're doing leg exercises. On day one we're doing some heavy squats for the quads, glutes and lower back and then overhead press which is going to be like the most important pressing movement in this program to build the shoulders and then cable rows with quite high reps to hit the upper back and get that back thickness and then push-ups for 75 total reps. This is kind of an arbitrary number. If you're new to push-ups, then you can lower this down, maybe do like 30 total reps across like five sets of six or something like that. But if you're more advanced and you can do, you know, 50 push-ups in one set, then you could do maybe 100 total push-ups doing like five sets of 20. So you want to be doing like three to five sets of a challenging number of push-ups, getting a total of like 50 to 100 reps and then finishing off with barbell curls for the biceps. On day two, we're starting with trap bar deadlift, which is gonna be really good for the traps, forearms, and mostly the hamstrings, the quads, and the lower back. And then lateral raises with dumbbells or on cables and reverse flies. So we're doing side delts and then rear delts. You could potentially superset these two together if you wanted to. And then weighted pull-ups for the lats. If you can't do any weight, then just do body weight until you can get up to like 10 body weight reps and then you can start using a little bit of weight and then finishing with overhead tricep extensions to hit the long head of the triceps and then squatting again on day three slightly higher reps this time and then close grip bench press for the triceps also going to hit the shoulders and the chest a little bit and then barbell rows for the back especially the back thickness if you prefer you could do dumbbell rows or any other kind of row variation and then dumbbell shrugs for the traps and curls for the biceps and then on day four, we're doing lunges. I like to do walking lunges with dumbbells. You could do a barbell on your back as well, 
or you could do any kind of lunge or any kind of single leg movement like a Bulgarian split squat. And we're doing 10 reps per leg, so a total of 20 reps in each set. And then lateral raises for the side delts again. You can pretty much just spam these and they're gonna make your side delts grow like crazy. They don't impede your recovery at all really. And then face pulls for the rear delts. Again, you could superset the lateral raises with the face pulls. And then chin ups, I've put a total of 30 reps. If you're new to chin ups again, you could do a total of like 10 or 20 reps. And if you're more advanced, you could do more like 50 reps total in like five sets of 10. And then finishing off with triceps push downs, three sets of 20 to just really fatigue the triceps. And these are really great for elbow health as well. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, make sure you're eating enough calories and protein, getting enough sleep, and pushing yourself every workout to force your body to grow, to adapt to the new stimulus. And since you wanna be lean for this physique, definitely focus on lifting heavy, really training hard, eating enough protein, uh, getting at least like 10,000 steps a day, that's gonna really help you get lean. Don't restrict calories too much because when you restrict calories, your body thinks it's starving, so it holds on to as much fat as it can and it adjusts your metabolic rate to slow down so that you're gonna be prevented from starving. And that really doesn't help with getting lean at all. The way to lose fat is not to restrict your calories, but to increase your metabolic rate by exercising a lot, lifting heavy, eating lots of protein, sleeping a bunch, increasing your testosterone, many other things besides just caloric restriction. So take into account all these things, train hard, and you're gonna see really good progress. Thank you for watching. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see and I'll see you in the next one. If you've seen my video on Toji's physique and you're interested in the complete guide to achieving Toji Fushiguro's physique, including a physique analysis and weightlifting or calisthenics training programs tailored to suit your needs and efficiently maximize muscle growth, check out the link at the top of the description.